So you come up to me after I finish that last lecture and you say, Hey, but what if it's a baton? And I'm like, what the heck? I called it a stick. Isn't baton the French word for stick? Is that what we're talking about? Baton Rouge, Louisiana? Oh yeah, that city is called Red Stick? Wow. So this whole lecture goes out to Louisiana because that's a thing. Um, if it's a baton, though, we presume that the ends of the baton are totally massless, right? They're just sort of phantom ends, and you're holding it from the center. Now, that's the difference. We previously had the axis out at the edge. Now, I imagine it's going to be quite a bit easier to twirl if the axis is at the center, but I don't want to start referring to this as aura or anything. I'm just going to call the total stick length L again, so you've got L over 2 over here and L over 2 over there. That changes our our integral very, very simply, like it's not a big change. All I need to do is we're going to rehash a lot of the stuff from the previous video. We're going to get a little bit of, whoa, r squared dm right here. And um, that integral here is simply changing the bounds. We're integrating from negative l over 2 to l over 2, and we still have y squared times lambda dy, and we can pull out all of that stuff and we get the same dang thing, lambda y cubed over 3. I like writing it like that because those are pretty. And then we go negative l over 2 and l over 2, and this is lambda over 3 times some stuff in these brackets here. We're gonna get, I guess, uh, we're gonna get, oh gosh, L cubed over eight plus, that's minus, minus, L cubed over eight. Well, that's just L cubed over four. So this is gonna give us I equals, uh, here I am writing it all out for you. Look at that, what a nice YouTuber. How about that? And then I get a little bit of, you know, this part. What did we say that was, four? Yeah. And then there's a 12 here, right? Oh yeah, but then we have to also say that thing. Remember that other thing that we said? But, but we have total mass being lame. No, really, my battery is just fine. Uh, and then you get something, what do you get now? Oh, right, well I was just saying that the total mass is this so we could divide by that. And you all know what's coming here in the case of the moment of inertia of a stick about the center. Stick about center, we end up getting a 1 12th and a total mass and an L square. So we would say if we're simplifying things, beta here is 1 12th. Wow, that's really low. It's very easy to spin a stick around by its center like this. Wow, that's so easy, but much harder is to do the end. Wow, that's much harder. So go ahead and get a meter stick and try wiggling it like that, or you could get a Crayola marker and then try wiggling it that. That's a big difference. Okay.